from the industry's leader in nitrogen plastic welding. Polyvance is proud to introduce the newest generation of welders, the 8000 series. The 8000 series incorporates all of the user-friendly features we've developed over the years since we introduced the first nitrogen welder in 2006. A Polyvance nitrogen plastic welder will allow you to repair many of the damaged plastic parts you are currently discarding. Of course, plastic bumper covers are the most common opportunity for repair, but it's not just for bumpers. Use the welder to repair headlight tabs, washer bottles, fender liners, rocker panel moldings, and virtually any other plastic part on the vehicle. Repairing plastic can often create more profit for the shop and technician while reducing the cost of repair and cycle time. Also, repairing plastics is good for the environment keeping damaged plastics out of the landfill. Polyvance is the world's leader in plastic welding rods, with a great variety of plastic materials, profiles, and colors, allowing you to fusion weld virtually any plastic used on today's high-tech vehicles. Polyvance is an iCar sustaining partner and offers several available hands-on and online training courses, which include iCar continuing education credits. Check out all of Polyvance's training options at polyvance.com. Polyvance's 8000 series nitrogen plastic welders are the best way for your shop to increase profit and improve cycle time by repairing damaged plastic parts. Ask your jobber or equipment distributor for more information on Polyvance nitrogen plastic welders. You may be wondering why use nitrogen to weld? Why not just use hot air? The reason is that nitrogen makes a stronger weld. Air is about 80% nitrogen and 20% oxygen. The oxygen in the air is what causes the problem. When you weld plastic with hot air, the melted plastic gets oxidized or burned in the process. When you weld with air, the plastic will literally burn. You can see smoke, and sometimes even ash or sparks will form in the weld zone. How do you make a fire? You need a source of fuel, you need heat, and you need oxygen. If you snuff out the oxygen, the fire goes out. That's the idea behind using nitrogen for welding. Welding with hot nitrogen gas flushes the air out of the weld zone. The plastic melts cleanly with no contamination, no smoke, no fire, no oxidation. The melted plastics can then fuse together with no contamination for maximum strength. Here you can see the effect of the nitrogen. You can see the plastic residue on the welder tip smoking as the air oxidizes it. When you blow nitrogen on the tip, the smoke disappears. The nitrogen flushes the air out of the area and keeps the tip from smoking. You can also use other inert gases for welding. You might find it more convenient to use argon CO2 blend since you already use it for your MIG welder. That's fine. Nitrogen is just usually a little cheaper. Do not use oxygen or hydrogen. The Hindenburg used hydrogen and we all know how that worked out. 